Hey guys, this is Hell Hades, and this is another raid Shadow Legends video. So we are um, in good shape actually. I've got up to 4.24k subscribers. Um, what I'm going to do is, if I hit 5k, um, I'm going to do another one of my account takeovers and tuning videos. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is, on that on that point where I hit 5k, I'm going to do a free giveaway to two of my subscribers, similar to what I did a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and give them the chance for me to go into their account and try and improve their situation. So if you are interested in seeing what that looks like, I've got I think two or three videos, maybe even more than that now, with account takers I've done in the past. Um, I've had really good feedback on them. People seem quite interested in what's going on in those and kind of trying to gain more knowledge. So check them out and watch this space for the next giveaway. Try and get your friends to subscribe, <laughs> help me get up to 5k and then we'll get there quicker. Um, also just want to do a couple of quick shout outs from people that have been following my YouTube channel for a little while and, and just kind of really started to support me. So uh, the clan, the Free Rasketeers, French clan, um, really cool guys, uh, chatting to a few of them on Facebook and um, yeah, they've been following my videos and they basically said through my videos they've really been able to improve their clan efforts on, on Nightmare Clan Boss and they downed it for the first time yesterday. So well done guys, thanks for, for the support and thanks for watching the vids. Uh, and I'm pleased it's helping you to grow your own accounts. And then also want to just give a shout out to Chris from Long Island. His girlfriend, ML, was like, give him a shout out. Tell him in the bin <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. Have a great Christmas, guys. Um, anyway, let's get into this video. So this is going to be my champion guide on Ignatius. Uh, Ignatius has been one of my, um, my kind of top champs, I guess, for my arena team for a while. Um, I kind of had him in the vault for a little while and then as I was getting further and further along the progression to Arbiter I realised that he was insane on the spider. I built him up, booked him up and uh, now he's kind of in, in a number of my teams. So I guess let's just go over skills first. He's got an A1 that has got a base chance of 15% to land a stun, single target. Um, you can buff that up to 25%. It's an okay A1, it's not brilliant. Stun is a brilliant debuff, but to hit one target and only have 25%, it's a bit low. Um, it can be quite clutch when it lands, but obviously it's it's very dependent on RNG for that to land. Um, his A2 attacks all enemies, which is cool. It hits really bloody hard. It's got a 50% chance when booked up to 75% to land a provoke for one turn. It's really strong. It hits really hard. I kind of wish it was two turns. To make the most of it but it's still a really good ability uh, and you'll see shortly that it does hit really hard uh, or you can make it hit really hard he's then got an a3 which attacks all enemies it's got a 75 percent chance when booked up to 100 of landing hp burn for two turns this is what he's known for this is his bread and butter of his his kit um the main thing with this ability is it can't be resisted so you do not need to build accuracy to make this strong it will hit anyway the only way this doesn't hit is if you're on a weak affinity and you get the 30% chance to not land your ability picking. Otherwise, it always hits. Really strong ability, this one. In the arena, it hits hard. And on Spider, it does a ton of damage. So that's really cool. Um, if you think about his mastery then, so I've got him geared at the moment as a high resistance tank that has got offensive damage. Um, so I've gone resistance into reduced damage from crits, down the kind of resistance tree, into a chance to counter attack, into turn meter gain, into increased resistance. Uh, and then this side we on crit rate, crit damage, more damage. Uh, this one was just a kind of pathway for me. If someone dies he gains more speed but it's not really what I wanted. Um, I'd actually probably rather come this way and do this one. This is a really good ability. Um, this is useful though so it's got a 30% chance to reduce the cooldown of a skill. Really helps because his, his HP burns on quite a long cooldown. You want it back as soon as possible. And then this is quite nice for Arena. So you start to gain more damage as you kill people. Um, you definitely could do... I'll show you a different build which would be quite nice on him. So this build here would be a more of an offensive build for Arena. If you're thinking you might want to go first. Helm Smasher in there. Damage, damage... Uh, not damage, sorry. Damage, 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 damage. Crazy damage. This is a cool build for him. Uh, I think I'm going to try it out soon. You can also go a more of like a support build. If you want his provokes to land more often, 
um, you could do something which is kind of more similar to this. So defensive tree here, all of the accuracy gains, uh, evil eye for reduced turn meter into high accuracy. Um, and if you just want to do a kind of a pure spider build, so if you just want to be more effective at killing the spider, then you would want something more similar kind of to that. Uh, let me just think who put it on. Yeah, probably something more like this. So you'd want to go as if you've got a clan boss build, really. So straight down here and this one, and then kind of get your accuracy books. Yeah, this is kind of it, but you probably take these two instead of these two. Um, so that's more of a just a spider killer. The main reason is Warmaster actually hits really hard. So if you hit the spider with Warmaster, you get about an extra 160k damage. So it's really useful. So in terms of the way I've got him built then, so I've got him built for the arena, I've got him heavy tank. Quite slow, reasonable crit, reasonable crit rate, good accuracy, good resistance. I've mainly got them built for a resistance here. Um, I've got defense chest, defense boots, defense gloves. I did have him until recently in a resistance chest that pushes resistance up even higher. Um, which I'm still kind of I'm an iron which way to go. This is actually quite nice on him. So high resistance, and then maybe. You know, these boots, defensive boots. So I do less damage like this, but I'm less likely to get all those debuffs land on me. Trouble with this build I found is that people now are building accuracy so high. So I'm at there, what, 320? That would take me to 400. Or I'd end up at about 440. But people are building accuracy like 500 odd. So where these high resistances come in, I'm still kind of being taunted by people and stuff. So I'm not sure if it's the way to go. Um, I'll leave it for this for this this kind of first part of the the uh, demo. So let me just show you a couple of areas where he's quite strong. So he's actually quite people don't realise this. He's quite a strong campaign farmer. You could throw him in here. Um, bearing in mind he's got a defensive tree on. So if you had him in offensive tree, it'd be even better. But look at the damage he does: 40k, 50k. Still one shots everyone with the non crits. If he was 100% crit, everyone's dying without a doubt. This is where he lets himself down. He doesn't have the a AOE comes straight back, so it, it takes normally around 18 seconds, there or thereabouts. There they go, 18 seconds, yeah. So sometimes he does it in 12 if he gets a reduced cooldown tick in. Generally it's 18 seconds, but that's still quite quick for a, a campaign farmer. He can also farm Nightmare level, stage 3, stage 6. Just need to put him in lifesteal gear. Similar sort of setup to what I've got, but lifesteal gear. And he will be a nightmare campaign farmer. Probably run it in about a minute or so. So there's not that many actually that can do it. And he's one of them. What I would say is. I'm not sure there's any point in farming nightmare campaign. You get less silver. You get better uh, energy for XP ratio just about. But not by a lot. I'd say if there was a, a sort of genuine reason then go for it. But for me there isn't. Um. To show you arena next you might have seen seen some of my videos on arena anyway uh, so i'm sitting around 20 24th now he sits in my defensive team here so he's really in there for the damage uh, i generally sort of flex in and out of, of who's going to be in it just kind of play around with the team but you'll see here i do actually lose quite a lot nowadays whereas i used to lose well, maybe 50 50. Uh, i used to lose not many at all whereas in this top end of plat now, people are really starting to build teams that understand how to beat tank teams. And interestingly, when I first built Arena, I built tank team with high resistance, and everybody was kind of speed meta. If you look at this now, I'd say 70% of people are tank meta. Tank, tanks, tanks. Oh, that's speed, actually, that one. Tanks, 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 tanks. Normally tanks with one damage dealer. But yeah, so the meta's kind of swung. And let's see what he can do. So he pairs up nicely with this new guy, Torm in the Cold. He's got some real good synergy there. He also pairs up nicely with uh, Morsley and Mage who boosts his defense level. And you kind of want someone who's going to put a decreased defense on the enemy. So the Witch is actually very good for that. Um, I think we've got quite a good setup against these. So 
So mostly in majors in here, high resistance to clean all this crap off. She then, the witch then goes and reduces their defense. Defense down, defense down, defense down. Didn't land here. Um, this guy here is basically in there to provoke first and try and gain control of the map. Provokes on three of them. What I can do here is I can now lay a taunt in myself. Let's just see what sort of damage we do on this taunt. So, bang, what's that, 20 odd Ks? Now watch this, so I'm going to increase his defense and crit rate. Try not to kill everyone too fast. I'm um, just going to reduce her a bit. Uh, he's actually just cleared off all of my decreased defenses, which is a shame because you'll see he does decent damage on his taunt. Oh, sorry, on his burn. So this is his burn going in. 57, 26, you know, he hits hard with that burn. If there was decreased defense on there as well, he would be hitting it even harder. Now what we do is just try and get the freezes on. Freeze with HP burn together. Basically gets this guy going auto insane. And every time they move, he goes again A1. They, they've got really good synergy together. You're just trying to get more freezes on, more freezes on to get those autos going. So we're going to go at increase defense again. A1, 14k on it, and she is like heavy, heavy tank. That is, she is literally tanked up. So that's that's decent damage there. Uh, let's go to the AoE. And then we'll just drop the nuke on this guy. See you later! Yeah, so he's, he, he just works really well. He works really well with a number of different sort of setups, but um, good fun. He's good fun. Let's show you a spider set. This is what he was kind of first brought into the game or into the meta for um let's just think here what we're going to do what we're going to do so really what you want is his hp burn is what does the damage cold hearts are good because they reduce turn meter here warlord's good because he shields people up um probably just want someone else to decrease defense do a tyrell works yeah the tail rail in there as well so pretty much what we've got here is someone who stops the spiders from landing poisons um someone who decreases defense and then this guy with his hp burn so slow it down you can see how it runs so here we go decrease defense they do their aoe attack first that's the kind of ai the way it works Burn goes on there. Now watch every time one of those spiders moves. Chunk of damage. Chunk of damage. Look at that damage. Shame is actually she's... We didn't get a decrease turn meter off there. Which is a bit annoying. So I'm actually... I've got my tail rail too slow right now. Normally on my, I've actually just changed this build to show some other piece of content for... Uh, <laughs> The nightmare farm but normally he doesn't let the spider get a go never mind so you, you kind of got yeah so now what we're doing basically we're waiting for this the hp burn to come back and as soon as it's back we're kind of game on so it's, it's a waiting game now this whole build is reliant on um on ignatius kind of getting his cooldowns back we're probably going to lose, yeah. We normally lose the cold hearts at some stage. Their work is done. They've done a chunk of damage. You could definitely swap one of the cold hearts out for like a steel skull. It would then give you healing and perhaps keep your team alive a bit better. Uh, I'm just trying to show you a relatively quick farm. Hoping we get the HP burn back here, which gives us a chance to kind of clear it quick. Got high resistance on the warlord, so he's not taking the poisons. Oh, we've got one more turn yet, so shame. We're going to get one more heal up. So we've still got turn meter dropping down. Might get it away. The other thing is you get it away, you, you kind of don't want to do too much damage with it. But here we go. So look, chunk of damage, chunk of damage, chunk of damage. Uh, actually, just drop the turn meter, so that's pretty nice. So this is probably it for the spider, unless these die too quick. Let's look at the damage it's taking. Oh, that, that's the uh, most annoying thing that he does. <laughs> If he didn't do that move, if you could turn that off for this fight, you would. Because actually, 
you don't want the spiders to be taking that sort of level of damage. You want the H the HB burn to be doing the damage, not his AOE provoke. Um, but just elongates the fight when actually kind of in good place anyway. Never mind. Um, but yeah, we're not we're not really in any danger here of not winning this. We're just waiting for that cooldown to come back round again. Um, I'll probably free man it actually with these three. Obviously, he's got all of those debuffs on now. Warlord's been keeping those going. HP burn comes back up. And now, good night, spiders. Picking off legs at a time. And you're killing yourself. Good luck, you're killing yourself. <laughs> so, yeah, it turns, turns out to be a, what, a three minute run. Um, yeah, you can swap warlords. I've, I've shown videos with, with other comps, but I just want to do it quite quick. So that's him in spiders. He's really strong. Really, it's like his best place. If I had to rate these, I'd say Fire Knights is probably a two out of five. Dragons is probably a four. It help you clear waves, but he's not much good anywhere else. Like he's not really going to influence the boss fight. Spiders is definitely a five out of five. All of this area, he's strong. He's just going to nuke it down with, but so can anyone else really. He is good though in ice golems. Ice golems, I have him in my main team. Blue affinity, which helps against green. Um, so this is my main team here. Mostly a mage boosts the defensive champs. Uh, Bad L's just in there for the for the, the lulls. And Tayrell drops the defense. So let's just slow this down. Check out the damage here. So we've got increased defense on. We're going to put decreased defense on through Tayrell. Then here comes the burn. Look at that. 90k, 50k, 90k. He wrecks the waves. Like absolutely pounds the waves into the ground. Um, so, you know, this is a slow fight. The fine at 43k, 12k, that's with him not in an offensive build. If he was in Helm Smasher and I built 100% crit uh, and built crit rate on him, I mean, oh, I, I'm going to have to do it because I think his numbers would be actually mental. I think he'd be hitting people for like 100k plus. Even there, look, 36k, A1. It hits hard. He's probably going to kill himself in a minute with a. Uh, when he does his HP burn, because of these these shrieks that are on, depends if we kill another one actually. But I've got old Tan in here because he likes to pull people back up that want to kill themselves. But yeah, he's um oh there you go. So look, nuked one down, the other two are low, and we're going to get to the boss at what 107, which is which is good. So I mean we get to the boss part, we've got no worries here. It's just as anyone who's done this, it just takes a long time to kill the boss, generally. You know, not because of who I've got here, it's, it takes another couple of minutes. So uh, I guess I'm not going to make you endure that. Um, as I say, he's strong in a lot of places in this game. He's really fun. You can build him a load of ways. Um, and you can, I'm sure if anyone's actually got him full damage build, put a comment down below. Let us know what sort of damage you're getting out of his AoE HP burn or you know, AoE taunts. Has anyone seen damage like way over 100k? I'm sure he can do it. I've, I've not got him built for damage right now, and he's already doing some hits well well north of 80k. So I'd love to see what people's like biggest hits are. Maybe post it in my Discord or something. But yeah, look, I've been Hell Hades. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you soon.